I want everyone to um, be full of love, be happy, be joyful, be on a high level frequency. All day. Set your ambitions for the new year. There's nothing that you can't achieve. Nothing you can't achieve. Nothing that you can't achieve. Pussy all like Elon Musk is going to Mars. What can't we do, fam? Exactly. Killer Killer. Official .com. You need the Kellervision app. 24-7 mini documentaries, podcasts, live shows, DJ live streams, top fives, subscription packages, plus products for all your podcasts and street culture sports. Download it from the App Store for free today. Beatbox created. And we need to talk about world music and street culture. Killer Keller podcast. Yes. We are back in the room. Ladies and gentlemen, Killer Keller podcast for your sins. And we're back. It's the Chris Mudcast special. Yeah. True to our word. Skinny Man and Mongo. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> Christmas. Yeah. massive. Big shout out to Graffiti Kings. They call him Crimbo King. King. Uh, Crimbo King. And the King. Uh, they call him Crimbo King. What? Festivities are go-go. It's a go-go. It's yes. a go-go. How are we, gentlemen? How mm. are we? Mm. Well, 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 good, well. Good, good. How's it been since we last saw each other? Jeez. Roller coaster and adventures. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's been eventful. Many, 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 many people are no longer with us um, yes. since we last spoke. So rest in peace. Rest in peace to everyone who Absolutely. was here then and not here now. That's right. I'm one trillion percent. It's been a bit of an up and down. I mean, it's quarterly we've been doing this. A lot can happen in a quarter of a, of a year, can't it? Mm -hmm. It's really can. fucking mad. Yes. How have you been, Mo? I mean, I know this. Yeah. You know, there's been ups and downs. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. It's, it's it's been a roller coaster. Yeah. This year's been fucking mad. Anyway. Yeah. I've had a lot going. It's all reflective. It is all reflective. And yeah. and I think Christmas is about that, if you're going to take anything away from the, the holiday season. Um, but we're, get, we're most certainly going to get into the holiday season. It's not that we're, we're dealing with an anti-Christmas anti, an anti -Christmas sentiment, but nice. we're going to... Uncle Christmas. Some, uncle, it's going to... Some home truths, I think, yeah. is, is what the, the duty calls on this one, because um, people get quite confused and um, misunderstood about yeah. the Christmas season. What do you say, Skinny? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's something that I've delved into to do my own research about mm. like out mm -hmm. of personal interest so I know how I've kind of built my view of what I believe to be my truth mm. for what this pagan festivity is mm. yeah first of all can just for the for the uneducated uh, define pagan because it's used quite liberally pagan days. is a person who gives praise and worship to the elements um, being the sun the moon the stars the water the earth mm. you know so it's kind of like um a natural a religion based upon the laws of nature. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm very much pagan. Mm -hmm. True pagan. True pagan. The fiction yeah. wary dictionary describes it as any religion that's non secular. Oh, mm -hmm. that's non secular. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so if you're not a Christian, you're all pagans in England. <laughs> yeah. According to the frictionary. Like Jew or Gentile. There Should people that aren't Christian be celebrating Christmas? Which part of it, the, the buying stuff, consumerism, or getting together and eating? Because Christmas has been, well, it's been hijacked, hasn't it? I yeah, suppose. It's been hijacked. Well, yeah. shall, I, shall I just, on your marks, get set, go? Uh, I, think, Coca -Cola I think, part I of think Christmas. I'll, I'll just, like, clear the lane, unwind the, the thing up, and you just fucking go get my tongs up the I think <laughs> what I'd like to say first is I'd like to um, tribute a lot of my um, research to James Clark. And um, basically, when we look at the first um, idea of... Christmas, um, it was from Horus being born on the 25th of December from a virgin, Isis. <laughs> so this is the first story that we have of the miracle birth on the 25th of December who had 12 disciples. Um, with this, they used to have a celebration um, around the time of the winter equinox, mm -hmm. which would be the eating of a cake, which was... Um, Christ is the anointed oil. This is what they call Christ, is the anointed oil. And mass was a cake. So they would make a cake of anointed oil. And that cake, the main ingredient was um, mushrooms. Really? Yes, the, mushroom, the mushrooms being red and white wow. is where you get the red and white um, colored theme <laughs> of Christmas because it comes from the red and white mushrooms. So if I may go on um, in time as people started learning these beliefs 
further afield and you go up to like places like Scandinavia mm. and um, Asia and places like this, they see that the Schwarzdicker is the constellation of the stars there above the North Pole mm -hmm. around the December period. And they see that from um, the days of Odin and Thor and then beliefs, astrological metaphors, um, of that they went around the world in their chariot in one night. So mm. this would have the story of Santa going around the chariot at one night. Um, around the world in his chariot Are at one night. Are you getting all of this, ladies and gentlemen? Are we getting this? And um, wow. so then where we have the relation to the pine tree mm. is that the mushrooms would be known to grow around the pine tree. So that would where you would hunt for them and they would have their deers how like pigs hunt for truffles. Mm. They would have their reindeer hunt for these mushrooms that the reindeers would naturally do and eat. And um, people have questioned, are the reindeers in a state of... Yes, of course. Euphoria or whatever. Yes. Um, so then it was known that the old shamanic priests who would also dress in red and white um, used to go and enter the homes that were called yokes and where the snow would come over the windows and the doors, the yokes would have an open roof for the fireplace, oh. chimney pot kind of thing. And the shaman, shamanic priest would come around um, the Christmas period and visit the children to see where their state of like higher lower being frequency would be and examine these children um, by means of letting them take magic mushrooms and observing their behavior. Jeez. So if you think about um, the pine tree being decorated, if you think about um, a food like, um, what's that food that comes in the tin and if it ain't ripe, it kills you? Not Aki. Aki, Aki yeah. 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 You know, so just like if yeah, Aki ain't right. smiling one, if it ain't smiling, it, If Aki ain't something. right, it, if it ain't ripened out and dried out and prepared it's properly, Aki, you. Aki will poison mm. you. Um, same like the mushrooms. So the best way to get them dried out and ready for consumption would to be decorating the pine tree and hanging these mushrooms around them. This is where we get the decorating of the pine tree from. Because the red and white are poisonous, I think, anyway. Yeah. yeah. But once they're dried out, they're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, I mean, think, thinking about health and safety, you would never put stockings over a fireplace, would you? Not, on principle. <laughs> so um, the, the basis of this was to, to, to dry out the oh mushrooms over the fireplace so they'd be ready to eat for Christmas. Nice. So it's, it's a whole um, thing about pineal gland... Um, Pine needle glands. Oh, pine, pine, shit. pine needle gland um, anointment of the oil, mm. you know, and we're known that the Emanascara um, mushroom and ingredients helps with the pineal gland to release certain chambers of the mm. mind and the spirituality to give you what's called a Christ like consciousness, an anointed consciousness. Mm. So the word Christ just means anointed. And mass meant cake, so it was the anointed cake made from the mushrooms. Wow. When we look, yeah, so, I mean, these are the true meanings of the religion. And when we look at um, the fact that here in today in the Western society and as far as we've come, we're denying our children a great cultural heritage mm. by bamboozling their brain in making them think that their parents, who they can trust, who they can believe in, who they can rely upon for truth is actually deceiving them. Now, what that might do to their cognitive dissidence, you know, mm. my parents are liars. There ain't no man in a red suit who came down no chimney. Mm. And in actuality, I mean, maybe the parents should be given the accreditation of the presence that they acquired for their children, mm. not to some <laughs> delusional man in a suit that doesn't exist who the children come to find out at that age, mm. oh, I've been deceived by my parents. Like, why would my parents deceive me? Mm. So, I mean, we're robbing their cultural heritage of the real meaning of Christmas, Christmas. and what it is. And um, we're replacing it with a peer pressure of consumption for people at a time of year. Um, we've come so far from the idealism of what Christmas is that mm -hmm. when I look at um, people celebrating Christmas now, and I don't know if this is kind of like a cop out from people who come from a lower working class um, environment, they're like, yo, Santa's got coronas this year, so you're not getting no presents. <laughs> so it was a great excuse for them to say that. But I mean, 
there's, there's other ways to look at it. Like I myself used to feel inadequate as a parent who can't provide the latest PS5 and the iPhone 13 and whatnot and whatnot. And again, we, we lose ourselves for what the meaning of Christmas is and we come under this immense peer pressure to be able to provide um, mm. the, the latest gadgets, the um, keeping up with the Joneses mm. and stuff like that that are way outside of our budget, of our financial <laughs> expectations yeah. anyway. Yeah, so to having to come to that, I mean, I have to look at myself and say, Everyone's um, there wishing me Merry Christmas, but they didn't keep the same energy for Eid. Mm. You know, they didn't keep, the, they didn't show me the same energy for the Festival of Lights. Wow. They yes. didn't, they didn't show me the same energy for all of the other religious celebrations. Mm. Um, but and then I look around our country and I think, how many people are actually um, practicing Christians? Because the thing about these Christians is they're not very Christ-like. No. You know. <laughs> um, then then I look at like um, the Jesuit priests, the devils in the um, Vatican and um, you know they're the most e the most the most evil force on the entire planet earth is the catholic church and the jesuit priests you know uh, second to none as as documented multiple times. so for all of these um, so called people who are not christians that practice the festival of christmas mm. um, without even really knowing what it is um, it's kind of like this when I heard Ricky Gervais being asked and questioned about atheism, he had replied to the guy who he was interviewing, who was asking him the question, yeah, boom, there's 300 religions. Mm. So for me not to believe in your religion, and your religion believes that your religion is the only religion, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so you're atheist to 299 religions. Mm -hmm. I'm only atheist to one more religion. Mm. Then I'd like to get to like um, when Stephen Fry was asked um, what if he was to enter the mm. the gates of heaven, mm. how would he feel? What would he say? And he was like, "Well, qu clearly, I wouldn't want to come in mm. because on the basis of your God, what kind of God is he? Is he a maniac? He's clearly a maniac. He's clearly an evil mm. maniac. This guy who makes people suffer in the world. What kind of God would this be? Mm -hmm. That's a test, yeah. And then we look at how." in the winter period, we'll call it the season to be jolly, the, the season of goodwill. Mm. Because what we actually know is that where we have less sun in the winter period, it makes people's depression mm. skyrocket. That's right. So maybe we have to condition ourselves to tell us it's the season of goodwill. Why isn't every season a season of goodwill? Mm -hmm. Why isn't every season of every day mm. a day to be jolly, mm. you know, um, and full of joy? Um, so they reserve this for the winter period where they know people get less sun and they're going to be more depressed. Mm. Now, when we talk about depression, we talk about mental health. Um, when we talk about mental health, I'd like to tie this all in that I see people like Prince William campaigning for mental health mm -hmm. and his mother being the head of the Church of England. Mm -hmm. Well, clearly, in my opinion, is if that you believe that you have divine divinity to rule over all of the, the subjects yeah, in yeah. England, yeah. that's as mental as it comes. <laughs> so when we talk about Prince William being an advocate for mental health, start that shit at home, rude boy, yeah. because your family are a bunch of <laughs> nutters, vampire nutters. So your, your, your point is that he's, he, he'd actually, he's actually a good, um, he, 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 he's a good he's example. He's actually a good of, example yeah, yeah. of someone who's well off their nut, mm. <laughs> him and his whole family. Yeah, so let's look at what this Christmas thing is and then we're going to have the patronising Queen speech on Christmas Day. Mm. What's she going to be doing? Sat next to her gold mm. um, piano talking about, I didn't give the kids no food, Marcus Rashford did, so I'll give him a badge for it. You mm. know, patronising yeah, old little German. That. I do kind of feel Down with that. the monarchy, off of her head, I said it. <laughs> and it's comedy. We're dealing with the reality of the truth of this bamboozlement that we're having in the West where parents are under immense peer pressure feeling that they have to provide the adequate presence for their children mm. who have been told to keep up with the Joneses with the latest electric gadget that's way beyond the, the consumption means, price. The or these designers by these Italian racist people who hate the people that are buying their products. M Mongo, what do you think of that, about this at this stage? Because obviously, you know, I, I don't have kids and, they, and that must be quite a, quite a pressure on, on, a, on a family. But what's your thoughts on that? Well, all my family's birthdays are between October to January, and then we have Christmas as well. Mm. So there's there is the immense pressure. That's right to to get the money. You get what I'm saying, and 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 provide. Like we're providers anyway. We have to be providers. Mm. But for all this other bullshit that we involve ourselves with, you gotta get some money, man. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like so, yeah, I. 
Me, I want a PlayStation 5. I won't play it for long. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But I'll get one and say it's my son's, and but it'll be mine in my head. You get what I'm saying? But I ain't got no fucking time for that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but you can't even get one. And they've doubled the price. They've so doubled the people price. are grabbing them and doubling All sold the out. price. Yeah. Making people stress out even more. We've got to get it. we got to get it. we got to get it. You know, like... I don't know, man. See, as as me, I, growing up in Christmas, all, all I know is like, we had a few channels on the telly. We'd get the radio times out. We'd watch the mm. same old shit. It was great. It was, mm. it was reliably there. Mm. There's yeah? one stage and I never Star Wars was on every fucking year, wasn't it? Without fail. Great Escape. Yeah. Fucking uh, yeah, a bit of Star Wars and and whatever. Else. Animals and horses. Uh, whistle down the wind. You know, mm. it would all come on, and all right, we'd eat together. That'd be great. Like. And then that was a nice time. I, I got a little bit of Christmas jollies the other day. Mm. I walked into the to the uh, local boozer to grab a nice cappuccino because they serve a good one. Mm-hmm. And everything was like little hats everywhere and everything. I didn't read no deeper into it apart from, oh, it's a bit glowy in here. Mm. It feels really nice. Mm. You've got wooden floors and everything's really nice. I got a little Christmas buzz. But after leaving that and going and give my missus cappuccino, I've got to go and get money for Christmas. Yeah, and it's just you not... Saying? Like, yeah, you're so right. We, we are forced into consumerism. We don't have to. Uh, uh, is it a false sense of, of warmth and security, I guess, because well, you, you know what? It's the familyness of it. I think that yeah. people are, are, are trying to grab onto, like, yeah, family all together, family all together. Like, we've got to do it for Christmas, you know, like... But like you say, yeah, we should have that anyway. Like mm. Some of us do have that anyway. Oh, the family, family is very important. Not just when it's time for giving out gifts. <laughs> some people, some kids will class. That's my favorite uncle. He buys me shit, and that yeah, one there man. is broken. Yeah, hundred percent. And, and that's all so. it is. And not like that one took me rock climbing, fishing, and that one taught me how to ride a bike. It's like, what have you got for me? Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's where we're at right now. You know, if you can have a f- table full of food and people you love around it, eating food that's prepared with love, that's. That's good stuff, mate. It's fucking cold mm. outside. If mm. you've got somewhere warm right now and you've got clothes on your back and you've got company, that is the gift. That's the real that's gift. That's the gift. Um, food, consumption, Coca-Cola. Oh, that's Santa bullshit, isn't it? That, yeah. Santa, yeah, Santa's but, all Coca-Cola'd off. Yeah, yeah. Like, they really made a beeline for Christmas pretty fucking hard over the last decade or more. And it's always been a thing. They I changed... just want to wear the um, Toys R Us advert and then I'll know it's Christmas. Yeah, 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 totally. The consumerism, Toys R Us has gone bust. It's Smith's now. It's and, uh, and, um, <laughs> the Grinch is a story about racial exclusion. When I'm giving my children my presents at their earliest age of comprehending, I explain to them that it's by their parents who worked hard to provide Mm it. Um, I speak to them about the Council of Nicaea and why they came up with the story of wanting to create the son of God as a living man on earth, Mm -hmm. um, which is only metaphorical. And what it was is the Council of Nicaea was a bunch of men who didn't use their reproductive organs to reproduce. And they devised a plan between Josephus... um, Constantine, Augustine, and a couple of others, they had devised a way that they can take all of the kind of like religions that tie in towards these festivities and create Mm, into one organized religion. And it was done as a political um, agenda, Hmm. you know? Um, So these people came together and saw different religions of the world and thought, how can we tie all of their pagan festivities into one religion and re-indoctrinate the people with what they feel that they already know that they believe? (laughs) So it can kind of like synchronize with what they're already practicing, there you go. and it'll be um, a bamboozlement washover for the masses, and it's worked up line and sync. But how long has that taken to kind of forge? Like it feels like it's always been there. This must have been a slow burn. No, well, we no, it's, it's dated and recorded when the um, Council of Nicaea came together to prepare this story. Okay. Um, two thousand year, two thousand year old story is what we're saying. Wow. Or, and um, like I say. When it comes to people's spirit within themselves, whenever you go to a place of congregation, it's the congregation of spirits that gives you the fulfillment of joy. So when we talk about Christmas and we look at the time of the year, naturally it would be a time when people gather all of their food from their harvest and wish to hibernate away from the cold amongst their loved ones with good food to see them through preparing for that time of the year. Now, when we look at what we have in our society today, when we think about that idealism of being together with your loved ones, warm with family, 
where does that make the person who's on their own homeless and hungry feel? Mm. They must feel like the most outcast oh, on that 100%. list of, you know, so again, the psychological mm. damage, the, mm. the idealism mm. of what we're supposed puts to be doing on. puts the pressure on. Well, I'm, I'm alone, I'm homeless, I'm hungry, and mm. it's Christmas Day. Like, you wouldn't be feeling the same amount of immense pressure on Boxing Day because it's past now, we've got over it. Mm. And even when it comes to the pressure of wishing to consume to be able to provide presents under the tree for that one specific day. Mm. I brought to my children's realization from their youngest age of capacity that those same presents are on 70% discount in the shops <laughs> retailing the, them the very next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. So let's have sense of what, what this equates to economically that anybody who's in a lower working class economical disposition needs to be considering celebrating Christmas in the January sales. Now, I'm sorry, I'm non-partial when it comes... You know, I'm a mere conduit, but I would wholeheartedly agree with you. There's nothing worse than not having any fucking money. <laughs> on Christmas Day, knowing full well that the pressure's on. Do you know what I mean? And because then they want more money off you the following day because they're telling you the sales are on. Well, even for um, the youth of today and the generation of youth today, we can say in our generation when we was going through adolescent teenage years mm. that we was planning where we was going to go for Christmas, what parties were going to be on, that we was all going to meet in Trafalgar Square at midnight, sing Old Lang Syne, mm. and there'd be um, congregation of the masses all bringing in the new year. So the pressure to party. Mm. was on mm. and the pressure to know where the after party was mm. the pressure to have the money for the party mm. and have maybe the right swagger to get through mm. the door etc etc so um when it comes to christmas we have what we call the christmas parties um the biggest success being boris's party behind mm. number 10 yeah yeah um we're reflecting on a time when we're told that we can't <laughs> see our dear mothers that if they become ill we won't be able to visit them in hospital yeah. and if they die we won't be able to <laughs> bury them and meanwhile they're having a jolly meanwhile yes. they're having a jolly knees up all together breaking every rule that they yeah. set one rule for the others, total hypocrites. And these are the people that are governing us. Unprecedented. Other countries well. would have outed them, yeah, like physically outed them. They would have got been they there. Bin them, put them in the bin. Yeah. I've seen, like, you know, where was it? We've like seen. Or somewhere. They put them in the fucking bin. So back to the kids. Mm. When we think about what they're going through now in this unprecedented time of not knowing where we stand as a society, they're probably thinking, we wanted to go to a New Year's rave. We wanted to go to a Christmas rave. Now they're being coerced into taking a a poisonous vaccine mm. that's proven to have no, so many medical side effects that it should have been revoked immediately. Mm. You know, it never went through any testing. Um, so for Christmas, it's like, come and get your booster for the... What's it called now? Uh, fucking Omnicrom. Omnicrom, you know. Um, <sighs> and, and it's just the scaremongering tactics, mm. scaring people from being able to celebrate mm. what they want to celebrate. I mean, through this, this is one thing that I'd like to point out before we even come to the end of our podcast. If you are a man of faith and you serve God, do you serve God more than you serve the government? Because Boris told you all in every religion to close the doors of your religious religion, practice. Religion, yeah, yeah. So that's when I know you're not obeying the laws of God, you're obeying the laws of man. Mm. And I don't obey the laws mm. of man. The law of the, So that throws your whole religion into question. That throws your whole belief and your religion mm. into question. Who are you having faith in? Mm. The, the medicine of man? Mm. And you're following the laws of man? Or are you following the, the laws, laws of, of God, God where you place your faith and your belief? Mm. So it kind of made me say to myself... Contradictory. I, for one, never stop practicing my beliefs because Boris said so. Mm. They don't govern over me. I am a sovereign entity and I'm the executive of my body mm. and I am very much alive. And that is what is in question today. Mm. As a person who's alive, who are my own executive of my own account being my physical body, yes. I am my own sovereignty onto myself. The queen is not my sovereign. Why is it that people don't then listen? Comment below. All of this we're talking about here. Subjective comment below. Tell us what you think. Get it on and cracking. Yeah, exactly. Get it on and cracking. Um, Free man. You go outside of our cities. Go outside into the rural areas. You go outside into other countries, other islands, other places, other cities. Everyone has a different point of view. But I do feel like there is a there, there has to be a belief system for a lot of people. Because if there's a lot of people, there's a lot of 
opportunity for divide and conquer. And there's a lot of opportunity for people to be manipulated. And, and, and there'll be a lot of people there here right now saying to themselves, well, what they're saying isn't... Uh, that is not true. It may be historically correct, but it isn't true. Because after a while, if you get fed the same thing over and over again people every year, 25th of yeah, December... People are very comfortable, man. Discomfort is, is not nice, especially when you're questioning your own shit mm. because you've le heard something new that you're battling to get your head around, but it's making sense. That's when you close doors. People close their mind, you get me? I, I would um, second that by saying... Um, Human comfort. And we all want to have a belief of comfort somewhere along the line. And having this beautiful, precious gift of life, living in the present, this is the gift, this is the present. And because we're living in the present, in the gift, um, it's a beautiful um, experience. And we know not of anything other than our time here in this physical as the gift. We feel we have spirit. So for somebody to come along with an idealism of a story of a comfort that your heart will be weighed against your deeds mm. um, and that will be your passage into heaven. And it's like, oh, yeah, that's a great comfort. So if I live my life according to what's deemed as morale and good, when I come to the end of this journey, I'll be judged by my deeds mm. for my passage to... A romantic idealism of a heaven. What is a heaven? Everyone's got a different idea of what heaven would be because it's the own interpretation of what you wish for your own comfort. Mm -hmm. So it's a very clever way to hoodwink and bamboozle people by giving them a false idealism of comfort. Mm -hmm. to Espe them that, especially, yeah. especially when they long and wish for this comfort. I truly wish that all of my loved ones who have left in the physical realm are in the spirit somewhere. Mm. But that's me wanting to comfort my heart in that belief. That's right. Um, nobody can tell us whether that's fact. Um, people have had out-of-body experiences, tunnel of lights on the theatre table and stuff. Mm -hmm. But then we also know that when we're coming to our final moment, um, there's been a magical chemical reserved in the middle of our brain that gets released. The spirit molecule, yes. Yeah, right. so, so that when we do... Um, have our final moment. We it's have this hit. DMT trip. We, yeah. we have yeah. the biggest euphoric DMT trip, and maybe some people who got halfway. Mm -hmm. maybe, you know, um, I, I can't speak on anything that I know to be fact. This is only opinion of what I feel. Mm. Um, so, like I say, the idealism of giving somebody comfort for somebody who longs for comfort is supply and demand, mm. and that's where it became a business. The business of dealing with spirituality. Who's to say that you can cash in on spirituality? Who's to say it's a commodity to be bought and sold? Mm. So, you know, like for instance, I wish to return to the priest and say, listen, I'm going to need a receipt for everything that I've ever put in the... Um, Mm. Yeah, the right. collection. collection box. I, I need a refund. I've mm. seen it firsthand. It, it hasn't man. served me. I, I, Are they going to give you a refund? Did you get a receipt? Yeah, yeah no, and I've seen it firsthand. Um, I, I run a security team in the SSC arena for um, a prayer day. They have a lot of them there. They have Hillsong, they have something else. And a Pray for Brexit there was as well. And then there was uh, this other thing. There was four, four and a half thousand people, mainly old, uh, old white people that probably had a house here and a house there and they lived by the sea. But what they did was they jazzed up their whole thing and they got um, some young speakers from uh, black uh, congregations to come in and say, this guy here was, was involved in gangs. And they all went, ooh, and he went, a knife crime. And he went, ah, oh, and he goes, but now he's a minister, yes. And they went, Yahweh. And then all the rest of them said, Yahweh. They were blowing horns, ram's horns. And I always thought that ram's Whoa. horn was close to the goat man. I was like, what's this? <laughs> Next one, they were like, pass the bucket. These all had white envelopes, four and a half thousand people with white envelopes stuffed with money. They passed the bucket around and other people were saying, can we get more envelopes? Yahweh. And I was like, this is the biggest itchy town hustle I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> yeah. I found up Terra oh. Slim. I said, yo, Terra, you know the, you know the Bible, yeah? Your people are Christians, bro. We need to start a congregation, <laughs> man. I'm in the wrong hustle, bro. <laughs> the, part of they had Pastor Toby's people there, some other people, uh, Sister Betty, who's just minted. And I was, and then there was, and then there was the fake talking in tongues, and then like the old, uh, the old white fellow was doing it as well. And I was like, you know what? I've seen hustle all my life, and for people to have comfort and ease in belief and faith, all it is is your belief and what you have faith in. That's what you have as your, your stable. Mm. I believe this. I have faith, and this is true. So much so that people will come and knock you over for your whole life earnings. 
just for you to feel closer to God because you feel this person's more holier than you. This person's more in tune with God to help you be more in tune with God when really they're in tune with your bank account, mate. It's a big hustle. It's a schism. There are mm. true believers out there and true faithful people that can help you. And certain, certain times people's faith can help them through situations. But... I've seen the schism behind it, like, first hand. Wow. Astrologically, every 2,500, every 2,150 years, we have an age of an eon astrologically. So when we speak of the Mosaic Law, that would have been in the time of the astrological star chart of the bull. Mm -hmm. And when we came to the end of the Mosaic era, we went into the age of the ram, Aries. Uh, yeah. So that's why he would have said no praising of the bull anymore. Now we praise the ram, hence the horn of the ram. After the eon of the age of the ram, we came into the age of the two fish, which is what Pisces. we know as the age of um, Pisces. Pisces, which is Jesus. Jesus is represented un un fish. under that age. Mm. And um, after the end of this age, we will be entering the age of Aquarius. So lots of times they've said, oh, it's the end of the world. Well, it's not the end of the world, it's the end of a time, time end of yeah. an age, end of an yeah. eon, um, which we're very soon yes. transcending from the age of the Pisces into the age of Imminently. Aquarius. When they yeah. said it will be the age of information and enlightenment. The dawn of the age of Aquarius. That's it, yeah. there you go. Um, so there is reasons for the horns and the rams and that. Yeah, but when I ask certain people, I was like, what's the ram's horns about? Are they blowing down the walls of Jericho? What mm, is it about? Because mm, mm. I always thought that the horns and the horned beast and rah, rah. Mm. And the woman said to me, you know, I've never questioned it. And she was there as a true believer. She said, I've never questioned it. So to never question it, that's 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 that another thing. <laughs> that's another thing. <laughs> Saying all this, I would like to um, round up if I can take the lead and mm. be spontaneous mm. to be able to say that as we come towards the end of the age um, in this year, um, whether we're on a Gregorian calendar, you know, there's, there's different calendars. This is the Skunga speech right here. Um, <laughs> I, no, no, it really is. This yeah, is yeah. yeah, this is my Christmas speech. This is the Skunga speech. Yeah, Christmas yeah, yeah, speech. yeah. Get the mud. This is a mud fam speech straight from the mud fam heart. We are all one mud. What I need us to do for this Christmas. Mm -hmm. The ambition list, Christmas ambition list. My <laughs> Christmas wish list would be for us to start seeing that all humans of the world are our fellow humans. We must not call them immigrants mm. yeah yes. um thank god yes many a life are getting lost at sea because mm. humans are looking for a better life they're not cockroaches they're not immigrants they mm. are fellow humans mm -hmm. they they have a right to life like we do yeah 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 yep. so let's just you know re-alliterate mm. how the media bamboozles us mm. our fellow humans are looking for a better way of mm. life yeah and as fellow humans, it's our duty to make sure that all fellow humans should be safe. Mm. And we're giving them horrible names and not calling them our fellow humans, which is exactly what they are. This needs to stop. Stop. I want to tell young Arthur that we love him. And at Christmas, I'll be thinking about many children like young Arthur because there's loads of them. Mm -hmm. um, I want everyone to... Um, be full of love, be happy, be joyful, be on a high level frequency. All day. Set your ambitions for the new year. There's nothing that you can't achieve. Nothing you can't achieve. There's nothing that you can't achieve. Pussy all like Elon Musk is going to Mars. What can't we do, fam? Exactly. Um, kings of this earth, come to your sense. Treat the queens like queens. Mm. Be vigilant, militant and diligent to protect the innocent yes. of the innocent. Yes. Um, and big up to everyone, really, Mongo. Yeah. Um, Whoa, Carl. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, any gifts you want to send, you can send it to P.O. Box. Money or nothing goes on. I'm taking all your shit. Um, and I don't drink Coca-Cola. Mm. I don't Whoa. care your race, religion, <laughs> colour, creed. You know what? A hug is a hug, a Preference. cry is a cry, tears is tears, shit is shit, blood is blood, piss is piss. Mm. Everybody's got the same stuff mm. running around their body. Mm. It's just what you decide to poison your mind, <laughs> mind with. Oh, whoa, whoa. Or enlighten your yeah? mind with. So open up, yeah. 
Open up your forehead, man. You've got the key to unlock lock it. You get me? Yeah, exactly. We ain't got much time left. Um, oh, well, hang on, actually. Well, look, before, uh, and I'm not on time about Time doesn't exist. Podcast, <laughs> I wasn't even thinking about in relation <laughs> to the podcast. It's me going, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. So I've got some questions that have been raised by the public out there from the last uh, podcast. We are... Uh, um, so yes, uh, yes. Oh, we need all squad in bring present. Him in. Bring him in. All Spin squad him in present. Right. So as it's, as it's Christmas themed, of course, uh, uh, judging by the fire and uh, judging by our time, it's time for those questions that the people outside have been asking. Um, firstly, Mongo, huh? <laughs> tell us what would be the place you would like to visit on your Christmas day of all places around the world. Mm. I want to be first in the bathroom. Yeah, there's five of us in the house, six including the dog. We've just done our bathroom. It is a sanctuary. It is amazing. I want to be first in the bathroom and not have to rush for no one. Mm. Have my have my refresh and then just be at home because that's where I'm happy. Mm -hmm. I don't need to go nowhere else. Before we used to think, yeah, let's go spend it somewhere else, go to another country, this, that and the other. Let's get out of England because that's how depressing England is. Yeah. People want to fuck off for Christmas. I want to be at home, you get me? With my people, mm. people who I love and love me and that's mm. it. But I want to be first in the bathroom. That's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very good. Uh, skinny. We've we've been watching uh, the the videos roll out on your Instagram. So, what on the last day of Christmas would your true love? Would you really love your true love to give to you? Um, it wouldn't be of anything material. No, no, nah. I can't imagine it. No, nah, it's uh, um, nothing, nothing of material value. Mm -hmm. They come and go. <laughs> give me a memory. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, I can yeah. hold in my memory chip forever. So, what's the what's always the favourite memory of you boys of, of Christmas over the years? So, you know. Over the years, I, I used to come at yours for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, we've done it all. Um, we've had, um, I shouldn't say it, but I long for them to do a Christmas pot noodle. <laughs> yeah, so Yo! pot noodle, Christmas pot noodle. Yeah, would it be mushroom flavour? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's chips, it's chips, Fuck yeah. Yeah. turkey and mushroom and sage. Oh my god, yeah, I'm gonna do a tandoori um, turkey for Christmas Day. I long to visit the churches in Ethiopia, whether it be Aksum or Lalabella or many of the Orthodox churches in Ethiopia. That's where I would long to be mm. for Christmas. Yeah, with the Orthodox priests, mm. trying to find myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, mate? Where, where would you? Marbella. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Marbella and there. Schlag. <laughs> um, favourite memories. What's your favourite memories? I don't know, man. It's hard to remember them. Of, of so Christmas. Many, yeah. yeah, what's your favourite memories? I mean, like, I want to dig deeper into this because times know. change, man. And you've got kids, you'll have... You I know think I mean? a lot of the time, Christmas was overpowered by New Year's because it was like, yo, Christmas, yeah, yeah, ah, New Year's. Like, mm. that was it. Well, I'll tell you, my favourite New Year was... In the roundhouse, when the roundhouse in Chalk Farm was shut down and it was taken over by Spiral Tribe, there was me, there was Naif, there was a Ooh. bunch of people. We was running shopping there. Yeah, it was amazing. It. It, was, it was like it was, free way. It was free. a church. Oh, yeah, there was a church rave as well, uh, Kenneth's <laughs> Town. But it was, it was, the roundhouse was fucking bonkers. It was brilliant. Like, everyone was off their tits. The whole manor was there. It went for three days. And... That was, yeah, it was like church. Fuck it, yeah, you're right. Mm. That was our, yeah. Proper church. Amazing. To, Being on think. the roof at like five in the morning what? watching the sun. I had, wow. to, I had to think and burst out of my smoke bubble and I clearly recollect my favourite Christmas on record <laughs> ever is when Mongo dressed up as Santa for Jarrell. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> yes. <Peter what? laughs> my eldest boy was very, very young at the time and Mongo dressed up in the Santa suit and came as Santa and that was got this to is be everything. my best memorable <laughs> you see, he Christmas ever. You chucked the shade on directly <laughs> after you said it as well. Yeah. Like, it's brilliant. <laughs> yeah. he's, like, he's like, yeah, I did that, but I'm not going to so, look at the camera. So, yeah, come on, there it is. Gold, frankincense and myrrh. If you was any of the three uh, that uh, deposited these Gold, gifts... Gold, frankincense and myrrh, What, it? what gifts would you give? What gifts would you give to... Mm -hmm. Well, which has held its value on the stock? Gold. gold. So that's what gold. I'd give. That's it. Gold, gold, and gold. It, it'd be an educated choice. Go okay, get yeah. What yeah. about you, Mo? Fuck all of that. I'd give my brother back his sanity and mm. get him out of his lockup. Mm. That's what I'd do. I'd give him back his sanity. Mm. Poor the bastard. Gift. I love you, Serge. Yeah, man. And that's it. Yeah, and anyone else that's Saj. been lost yeah. in the system, I'd give you back your shit. You'd be 16 again and, and you'd be free from all the fuckery and woe. And that's it, man. Like, Get back to yourself. It's nice when people get back to themselves, you know what mm. I mean? We've all done it sometimes, but yeah, man, I'll give you the gift of 
sanity in your own insane way. Well, can I, can I drop a seed? You can drop as many as you like, my brother. Reclaim your straw man account. Oh. Become your own sovereign mm. body. Mm. You know, your God body, your sovereign body. Reclaim your straw man. I, I, that's what I wish to give to everybody, mm. is the seed for them to reclaim their straw man. Wow. Well, on that note. Uh, I tried that in court once um, and um, the judge ran away. Uh, the security were called. Uh, they said, are you recording? I said, am I? And then uh, I asked the judge if she was standing on her oath. She stood and fled the fucking room. Yeah, I should have, I, I dismissed the case. I said, I, I as the highest uh, authority here, yeah. now claim jurisdiction, mm -hmm. watch my juror's addiction. Mm -hmm. And what we do is I will close this case and dismiss it. I should have stayed there. She's supposed to return three times. I didn't know at the time, but. You never represent yourself. Uh, 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 only a dead person is represented. You yeah, present yourself. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. Don't be a corporation. Put your birth certificate in the dock. And, and just to reiterate, really, what the fundamentals of this sanity. episode <laughs> is, man, is it's just don't be afraid. Trademark your name as a trademark in full capitals. So then you own the trademark, you know, and you could charge them for using yeah. your Way trademark. Go. And don't call yourself Mister or Missus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. call, give yourself a symbol. Come here, dog. And what kind of ship? Which ship? Friendship? Partnership? Yeah. Relationship, all ships. Yeah. You end up in the dock looking for the currency and Big the flow. Ship sailing on flow. the ocean. Damn, <laughs> knowledge We don't need no day. commotion. So it is Christmas, and uh, without further ado, we'll let you go ahead and celebrate it. The, 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 the fire's out. <laughs> um, yeah, chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Chestnuts <laughs> roasting like on an open Ma fire. Magic mushrooms drying out on an open fire. <laughs> Come on, we know what it is. Right, so you know what to do. Get your magic mushrooms. Not advocating it, but certainly if you can give it a go. Before the lights and everything are about to crash. Don't. Gentlemen, do you have anything more to say for the Christmas spirit of things? Yeah, some of them are drinking reindeer piss. <laughs> Trust me, partner. Mongo, do you have anything more to add to the proceedings? I don't want to drink. <laughs> so, all we got left to say is have yourselves a fantastic Christmas. Don't talk to anybody we wouldn't. Drink as much as you don't need to. And, uh, yeah. Wishing you many more happy returns. Happy New Year. Many more to come. Yes. And if you're going to get on it, get on it with people you fucking trust. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And turn them phones off as well. Trust me, man. I'm not on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Don't turn your phone off before you order the tent thing. Yeah. Right. Killer Keller podcast, Chris Mudcast. Stay lucky, Peace people. Out. Skinny Peace Mongo. Out. Have a good one. Happy Christmas. Bless. Easy. And Carter. Woo. Speak. 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 Speak.